Turn down volumes just a little quickly, and no, this is not a rant video. It's just that I need to scream this word as, l word as loud as I can. So turn down your volume right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Finally! Oh, how I waited for this chapter. If spoilers are gonna come out, then why does it have to come out so early? Ah, <sighs> okay, now I'm done. Sorry about this, I, I just needed to say that, that. I don't know how spoilers work, but I'm a, but I like to find out them earlier rather than later. It's just that apparently spoilers this time about the chapter was, what was it, one week earlier than it normally had to be? And that was actually a huge upset. Waiting for this chapter was uh, quite a pain in the ass. And was it worth the wait? Well, this chapter was golden. However, I still... Nothing is worth the wait. Even though it's part of humankind's nature to wait every single time. But we'll see. We still don't know the future of this channel, after all. And we can only wait for the inevitable if that happens. But for now, this is the Angry Anime Fan. And this is finally Eden Zero Chapter 25. First is a cover page about the girl that did, did that staging fighting show together with Rebecca. I guess every single cover uh, right now will be on every other B-Cuber that Rebecca befriended. In a way, I think they are going to help her channel grow, or at least give her points. I mean, they're probably going to say, your channel won't get so many reviews, but the way you do it right now. So first off is the fight of... Uh, uh, Shiki versus all three members of the log out as the annoying alien guy shoots some bullets. However, uh, Shiki managed to catch some bullets using his uh, ether gear and then he aims and fired fire the bullets off like gravity balls. The first time he misses, but the second time he doesn't and then he fires another one, but sis but the fake sister grabs onto um, Jin and uses him as a shield, once again proving just how evil this fake sister is. It's worth noting though that Jin is actually pretty shocked when that happening, despite the fact that he has always said that he doesn't have any emotion and blah 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 blah, you know, like that. He seems to care for his comrades because when he saw Ganoth, you know, that tall alien guy, being shot, he actually was shocked. And he was also shocked when... Uh, Shiki managed to overpower him a little moment ago. There have been some theories going around the world suggesting that maybe Jin is gonna do a heel face turn. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Hiromashima is known for making his villains in the end the sympathetic traits. Although, to be fair, I felt Jin has been very uh, unforgivable of late. So him making a heel face turn will take some time for me to, uh, well, you know, forgive, even if I am used to it by now. So, well, Fake Sister considers the fact, the, the, another reason why I feel like that could happen is the fact that when the Fake Sister says that you are just a soldier, you are my hands, my feet and my shield, isn't that right? He just says yes. For me, that almost sounds like a brainwashing moment. Or something else, you know, I have another territory theory, but if I remember it, uh, I'll tell you in the end. The fake sister heals uh, both of them, but Shiki has just become more angry as we're switching to Rebecca trying to track down Miss Coppa. And in the end, Miss Coppa did find the other collection of the stone girl. Now we're facing a dilemma. You know, I actually suspected that Rebecca would find the other petrified girls, but we currently have a dilemma, and uh, and note, it's not a bad dilemma. It's more of the fact that where can what can happen now? As Pino said, going back to Ki, she showed a lot android logic over there, and Rebecca is kinder than you think she is, and so is Chiki. So what I'm trying to say is. Here they have a lot of petrifying girls. Is it really in Rebecca and Shiki's nature to leave these girls behind? 
And here we face the dilemma. Do they really have time to save them all? Well, for suspense action, this is perfect. However, will that really happen? You know, there might be... We are stuck in a dilemma where we can have emotion or awesome. Either way, people will complain. But we'll see what happens that. Because the annoying toy toad guy appeared and he somehow managed to capture Copa and is threatening her with a gun. Yeah, he is really, really annoying. I can agree that I sometimes worry that Hiromashima is portraying aliens in a very negative light, which I feel like yeah, is not very good, but he hasn't portrayed the rabbit girl so far in a negative light. So I really, really, really do hope that uh, Shiki will have an alien as an ally. Because, well, you know, if he's only going to have aliens as villains, well, you know, that's not really going to do so very good in your resume. I know that sounds very stupid of me as saying, but uh, hey, people say the same thing about the White Christmas. So, uh, you know, people can really be like that sometimes when in stupid comments. So either way, Ilega wants uh, Rebecca to kneel down and become his slave. N Rebecca kneel down and it's revealed that what she has on is basically a leotard. Pretty nice looking on her. So, uh, as uh, Iliga says that Rebecca is gonna be his toy, uh, and if you resist, he'll shoot this girl. Suddenly, Iliga's uh, henchman arrives and says that the Chrono Fetch is about to come, and he's even stupid enough to not even know what uh, a Chrono Fetch is. Yes, Iliga, you are the definition of stupid evil. But you know, I don't know how much time this chronophage is gonna do, but wouldn't it be ironic if, if if it turns out that a past Illiga possibly was a good man? <laughs> that would be ironic and kind of fun also. I mean, it would be perfectly blending with Weiss's character. You know, old Weiss is an old... what old and wise mentor that has looked behind his uh, well past and realized his mistake. The young wise is nothing more than a wild card and an arrogant womanizer, or womanizer wannabe is more appropriate world. Now Rebecca also hears that the corner fetch is on, this, on its way. They don't, uh, they don't say how close it is, but um, who knows? Either way, this distracts uh, Illiga, especially also when he hears that sister had betrayed them. So, uh, Rebecca not only managed to save Coppa, but she also managed to take the gun that Illiga was having. And now we actually find out why Rebecca has such good aiming skills. I, kn I know a lot of people are gonna say, Oh, come on, that cannot happen in real life. And I say to them, <laughs> <laughs> In real life, have you? Do you even know what this is? This is not real life. It's manga, manga. By the way, I took stunt lessons one day, and you know what that guy said to me? He said, and now I'm doing this just to show how out of character this is. He said that when you aim with a gun, you don't aim like this. You aim with both your uh, eyes open. So, so it's a lot of things we do not know, okay? So it's revealed that uh, the reason why Rebecca has such good games is because she plays video games. Since she says she's always hooked up and ho doing that, she's actually learning from the video game shooter games that she is playing. She is, uh, it's actually improving her visual dynamics by doing all that every single time. So that's why she's so good at aiming. Uh, and it's also important to foresee what is happening. So, uh, they, so by playing video games, 
she's learning to aim and fire and anticipate. That is why Rebecca is such good at gaming. And she even played a little bit with Shiki. And that is how Shiki also gets a little bit better at aiming his gravity bullets as well. As both of them fire off and Rebecca managed to knock off Illegal. In the end she got that revenge shot, what I wanted. Unfortunately, uh, the fake sister wasn't enough to be knocked out that quickly. However, uh, the real sister Ivory appears and she shows quite a, I want to say, evil looking smile as she confirms that this fake sister has indeed used her powers and she says you will be punished to be the Demon King's toilet. This is without any doubt the real sister, especially since she is the one who says the Demon King's toilet. And uh, the fake sister can only say, shake in fear as she sees Sister Evelyn. And Shiki is just confused because, well, there are two sisters. Next chapter, which we'll probably not get until a very long time in the next year, will uh, be called the two sisters. So yeah, one very good chapter. Illegal finally got what was coming to him. A bullet to the head. I mean, people can say not a lot happened, but I still like what I saw. It really draws you in. And it was pretty fun to find out that the reason why Rebecca is so good with it, with her visual dynamics is by playing video games all the time. Even if that is not true, a lot of people have said that you get uh, greater in your in your motion control by doing that. So who knows? Other things to say is that this is definitely, Sister Ivory Lively is definitely the real sister. Especially since she's the first one to mention the Demon King. The fake sister didn't really say that. It's still not confirmed on why this fake sister so strongly tried to believe that she was the real sister. I have my theories out there. Speaking of theories, did I remember what I was going to talk about? Actually, I almost barely remember. Previously, I said that uh, maybe Jin is just a brainwashed soldier. You know, and when I send a brainwashed soldier, you all remember what I just saw, what I just said. The fake sister seems to strongly believe that she is the real sister, almost to the point of idiocy, which me, uh, even though she did recognize that Sister Evelyn was, well, Sister Evelyn, what I'm trying to say is, is it possible that the fake sister just wanted to become Sister Lively? So what does that have to do with Jin? Well, what if the... Uh, the Jin actually served the real sister. I mean, can't probably is not like that, but it would uh, show why he is so afraid of failing her and why she, well, no, while he doesn't mind getting hurt for her. I mean, it could very well be that he believed that the fake sister was the real sister, but that is just a stupid theory. Is not even any proof in the matter. The fact that Rebecca can shoot well because she's aiming like that uh, from playing video games was actually foreshadowed a very long time ago. I didn't put two or two together though. So what is the other thing to say? Oh yeah, it's what, when I said before, it, it, we are stuck in an emotional dilemma, or maybe that's the wrong word, but we are stuck in an emotional moment here. Because once uh, Shiki and uh, Sister Lively defeats this fake sister, they're going to find Rebecca. And uh, what are they going to do? Is it very likely that Sister Lively is just going to tell them to uh, abandon these people because they do not have a time? And what about Shiki? Is he going to agree? Given how Shiki is, I feel like he won't agree. I think he will do everything in his power to save these people. However... Will he? It's just a matter of time, and that's not a few amount of people. 
And here is where I think Stein and Homer would come back into the story. Stein could probably build up a, a vehicle, you know, carry these things and all the way to the ship. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Either way, an awesome chapter. But it was not worth the wait. And when I say it was not worth the wait, I mean the wait was excruciating. If spoilers are going to come out early, then don't come out at all. And more than that, give me the summary. That's the whole reason why I read spoilers. So give me your thoughts if you have any.